you, you can ask um, Turtle about this because she was there with me. It was it was quite angering. It was quite agitating to me. She might have a different story, but mm. to me it was agitating. It was agitating as hell. I can understand that. But yeah, after that I was done with chorus, and then. My junior year, we, cause I always went out for drama club because I love drama club. Drama club and as introverted fun. as I am, I love acting and pretending to yeah. be someone that I'm not. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. But I also realized that I picked up some of those negative tendencies that people oh, yeah. make fun of in drama club. Uh, which ones? Uh, I gotta look them up, but I remember there being like these people making fun of like drama club kids. And some of the things they said, like, clicked with me. And I was like, yeah, I do that sometimes. That's a bad thing? I guess it is. <laughs> um, like singing randomly at people. Mm. I only sing randomly at my close friends. Um, but they were doing, uh, Willy Wonka and the Charlie Fa Chocolate Factory. Or Char the Chocolate Factory. Yeah. They're... <laughs> They're Willy doing... Wonka and the Diabetes Factory. <laughs> yeah, <Yay! pretty> much. <laughs> they were doing Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And um I got uh, I I went and I tried out for the part of Willy Wonka. And I got Willy Wonka. And um there were uh and then this other kid in my class got the role, role of the grandpa. And, like, I worked really hard, and I did, like, my best for the role. And then, like, the person who was running the drama club that year was also the teacher. Yeah, I sing on stream sometimes. You guys are my friends. Um, and I also forget that you're here sometimes. Uh. I'm mostly always here. Even when I'm not on here, I'm here. No, like, I forget that you're actually here. And I just think that I'm by myself playing a video game. Oh, you're just like talking yourself. You're just going crazy. Yeah, I talk to I myself just, when I play I, video I get, games. I get very quiet sometimes because I'm listening. One one mm. Uh, but like, I like had been working really hard like on the entire thing, and then after the play was over, the person who was in the drama, like who was leading the drama club, she was the choir teacher as well. She's like. Yeah, the main reason why I put you in as Willy Wonka was because uh, Dylan, the other kid in my, the other kid who ended up being the grandpa, um, because Dylan, we needed a really strong role for the grandpa, and no one else had auditioned for the grandpa role. So we put you as Willy Wonka just because of that. I was like, oh, thanks for fucking helping my self esteem, you bitch. Oh, we wanted Willy Wonka because we just wanted, you know, a piece of trash. We didn't, we didn't care. Go away. I killed it at that role, though. I did really fucking good. Oh, you want to hear something that- The lion like... is still there. And he's singing into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Late at night, on arena. <laughs> Shit gets real. <laughs> Be right back. I leveled up the wrong thing. I feel that pain. I've been playing Athena so much, and I love her. Tyler really likes Athena. I love Get Athena. Get out my fucking house, Cupid. She may be like a big, stuck-up bitch in a way, but I still secretly like her. You can outwardly like her. No, well, I mean, I don't want her to notice. You don't want Senpai to notice you? Yes. I want it to be a secret. That way it won't be embarrassing. My senpai knows that I like them. Right, Freya? Freya knows I like the booty. Hmm. Oh, that little rat. But, um, yeah, she told me that afterwards. And I'm like, well, it's probably a good fucking thing you had me out there as Willy Wonka, because I did fucking spectacular, you bish. Reminds me of the time that I was doing a play and they put me as the worst character and they all had bad acting skills like they were horrible like oh, one I of them was like that. They, they were like where's that smoke coming from 
Oh no! It's coming from the town! And I was like, this is so fucking cringeworthy. And I came out, and I had lost all faith, because I have big feet. Yeah. I have like size 13 feet. And apparently I couldn't have feet that big. And so like, they were like, you have to wear shoes. So I got these girls shoes, and they were like tiny little shoes. <laughs> Teeny tiny shoes. So I walked out with like no faith in my face. I was like, roar. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, turn on the smoke machine. And I went to the back and the thing started whirring. I was like, Rrr. and we were just standing there for the smoke to come out. <laughs> and it was the most awkward thing in the universe. And then like the, the guy, the director, I suppose, was like yelling at me. And I was like, I could have done so much better than you, you little fucking cunt. I swear to God, I'm I was just so angry. It felt like it was my play and like I let people down. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. It, it felt like I let people down, even though I was just one like actor. Mm. The whole thing was horrible. We were disqualified. And like at the end, I swear to you, I walked outside, like sat on a hill. I looked up at the stars, and I was like, one day. <laughs> one day. <laughs> uh, uh, I had something and lost it. I, uh, I don't know. I like Drama Club, but, like, there's so much drama and such stupidity involved, like. Yeah, a lot of the drama kids are dramatic. <laughs> yes. Funnily enough. It's like, it's, man, take a joke. Take a chill pill. Oh, dude. Oh, I remembered. Uh, on one of the nights of the show, uh, our s people backstage who were in charge of the sets and everything fucked up hardcore. And um, the we were supposed to have the Chocolate River, and they were so late on having it come out. We And me and the Dylan kid had to come up with lines to cover like what we were missing and everyone like loved our improv because we were just like chit chatting about stuff and i'm like yeah i'm gonna have our the boat's been in repairs and apparently it was just like the most ridiculous thing and nobody fucking recorded it and i am kind of angry yeah it's it's pretty interesting because uh during the tryouts um, we had to like do improv with each other and I noticed that I can't do improv by myself it's kind of hard for me to do it but with someone else it's easy because I can just bounce an idea back and if yeah. they're good they can bounce an idea back to me and we just go play ping pong with ideas um, but when it's alone it's like you're playing ping pong with a wall right yeah it's like there's no one else to play with you Such a keen I, I mean I like I love writing and I've and I like to write stories and stuff. I'm working on writing a story right now, actually. Like, writing a book. And, uh... So, with me, like, imp improv is just like writing. You just have to kind of, like, find the words that go next to each other and come up with a story for stuff. The thing is that you have to think about it fast. Like, yeah, improv like, is thinking about spot. stuff fast on it's, the spot, it's but... Like, it's pretty taunting. It, it's, it's a daunting task um, to do, but it feels so good. When you just like think about something really funny on the spot and you're just like, hey guys, what about this? Tyler and I, Tyler and I like to think of like, Tyler and I will think of stuff and we just come up with like ridiculous conversations between animals. Like, um, we'll be walking home and there'll be like ducks in the river and I'll be like, look at that duck. And you'll be like, yeah, that duck's thinking this and this and this. And then I'll be like, yeah, and blah, 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 blah. And we'll just, like, create this conversation for these ducks that are definitely not <laughs> having doing conversations. doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just sitting in the river. Like, sitting I remember... Sitting quacking absentmindedly while their <laughs> eyes just, like, scroll to their sides. <laughs> yeah, like, they go off to the opposite. Like, <laughs> looking in opposite directions. Uh, <laughs> but, like... One time we made up a story about uh, these geese, and they let the one they let the one goose lead the direct because we saw these geese and they were heading in the wrong direction because it was winter, so they should have been heading south, but they were heading north, and uh, we were like, the one duck was like, Billy, 
we should have never let you we should have never let you go and he just goes Wank! and then his their dad is like you just let you just let billy drive for he just have faith in him and he's like no dad i can't i can't have faith in him he's leading us in the wrong direction i'm i'm leaving i'm leaving the the flock i'm i'm not coming back and then he gets lost and he uh he gets lost and is cold and then billy comes back and finds him I think it would be funny if there was like a bunch of sentient ducks, but one really stupid normal duck, and they were all like, "Okay, okay, Sam, where are we going?" Uh, <laughs> Sam, Frank. Sam, we're going the wrong direction, Sam. It would Don't make. Don't worry, Sam knows what he's doing. He's a professional. It would make sense that like the duck that was like completely normal would like have all like the regular kind of duck like sensibilities. <laughs> like well, everyone else is just like. Oh God! I don't know how to duck. <laughs> How do we duck? I don't understand. I can understand. What does it mean? I can. What does it mean? <laughs> I can understand how to think like a human being, but I just I can't duck. You were born the wrong species. You ducks, duck. You bees, bee. How does one? What, how, how, do humans human then? Is that a thing? Um. That's actually a quote from the TV show that I was named after. Um, really? Yeah. There was a TV show with a character on it named Madeline Hayes. And it was a... It was a show about a detective who... Well, a detective agency. And it was owned by a, a model. A, like, a really famous model named Madeline Hayes. But her, uh... Her lawyer stole all of her money. So, uh she has to sell a bunch of her properties and one of them that she intends on selling is the invest the like investigation company and she ends up they she ends up getting talked into going on a case with the owner uh named david and uh in one of the episodes they go to the dump with this guy on a case looking for his uh uh is stuff it's from like the 80s so everything is like 80s themed mm -hmm. um but they go to the dump looking for stuff and the guy is being like uh the guy that they're trying to help is like oh, i don't know how to do da da, da 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 i don't know if i can do this and the guy's like and david goes do ducks duck do bees bee and the guy's like looks at him so confused and david's like obviously and just <laughs> <laughs> the most like no, jackass duh. like Jeez. duh how do you not know that and it's like it kind of actually remind he actually kind of reminds me of tyler but my mom uh, named maybe 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 there's a connection there my mom never knew my mom named me after madeline hayes the character like she likes the name madeline in the first place but she named me after that character primarily cool oh. at least she didn't call you something like vegeta or something <laughs> From the, like the the Dragon Ball Z craze. Well, my Just mom imagine like being called Chi Chi or something. I was born in 1993, so I was before the Dragon Ball Z craze. <gasps> yeah. 1995. I lied. Not 93. I don't know why I said 90. Well, just imagine being born called something like Chi Chi. I would not like that. That would not be. That would not be fun. Tyler really likes the name Urza. That's that's a nice like from name. Like Urza though. Scarlet. Yeah, it's a pretty name. I like it. And it's really unique. So like, not like you're gonna have like five Scarlets in your Urza Scar <laughs> like Urza's in your it's class. It's like you take them to the school. The whole school is just like named Scarlet. <laughs> Ur no, Tyler was said he would never name his daughter Scarlet because of how he. Like, because of how he's drawn Scarlet and how he imagines yeah, her in yeah. his mind. Yeah, I think there would be, like, a problem there. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So he would never name his child Scarlet. But Urza's a pretty kick-ass name, con especially considering how Urza is. She's such a strong character and such a beautiful character, like, on the inside and out that I think that she'd be like a good role model in a way for any girl. Oh, that's too bad. 
you're kind of doing a 2v3 right now. I'm cool. Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, a uh, jeez. Watch out for Rat Tata. <laughs> true love never dies as I die. Yeah, aren't you true love, technically? Hey, Rat Tata. How's it going? Red Tata. I call him Rat Tata, like the Pokemon. Yeah, I want a Red Tata uh, costume. In? That would be fucking sweet. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I like died. Big teeth. <gasps> Purple. Such you know. Not cool. Hey, look at you out there. Yeah. I'm coming! I've been doing pretty good as Athena recently. On down. Fuck it! Fuck you! Fuck all of you! You're just afraid of me, that's why. You say fear me, but you're afraid of me. Look at me just wreck your new wa. Look at that. Do you fucking see that? Yeah, thought so. Hi, Scylla. Fucking hold still so I can say bye, Scylla. She never did say bye. <laughs> to this day, we wonder if she ever did finish her thought. How rude. How motherfucking. Can I, can I leave? What, what? I can't wait for Christmas. I can't wait for Halloween. I, I love Halloween so much. Such I'm so excited. Yeah, it's the best. I'm sad that Tyler hates it. Tyler just- uh, Tyler doesn't like it because he's had terrible Halloweens, and yeah. also he feels that if that's- if- if that's a day for anything to exist, then- if anything could exist, it would be on that day that they would. Oh man, process. that would be cool. That would be neat. I'd be able to talk to, like, vampires and stuff on that day. Hey man! What's up? Oh, you know, just sucking blood. Cool, cool. Fun so, to uh, suck your blood. How's how's the weather outside? It's pretty good, huh? It's pretty chilly. Uh, I can't go outside. <laughs> because, you know, oh. the sun. Well, you know, you could be following different kind of rules. Because we've had many different kind of vampires. In fact, some of these vampires go outside every day. Oh, no! Uh, oh, oh, she just zipped right before I got his attention. It's cool. I'm, you know, positive seven. Well, what? Yeah. Oh, hey, that's neat. No big deal. I'm positive one. But then again, I have 21 assists, so... Yeah. Almost all of these kills have been my doing. That's what I think. I'm excited about it. Uh, we probably need to back up and stop yeah. this thing. That's a squishy. Bye bye. Mm. I, I have to mm. go back. Uh, I suggest you play Undertale. I think you would love it. Play what? It's amazing. Undertale. What is that? It's a beautiful game with amazing music and amazing- it's a bullet hell. Do you know what bullet hells are? Uh, lots of shooting, I believe? Yes. Not first person shooting, but things being shot at you. It's not that hard. I could do it, and I'm not, like, amazing at bullet hells. Oh, I was about to go up into my four. Oh. I wanted to kill more things. Well, sometimes good st good things have to end. Oh. That was positive eight. This be the true meaning of life. What's the odd now? Hey, at least this was a nice note to leave it off on. Yeah, it was a really nice note to leave it off on. We've won so many games. We had like a really good conversation. This was a yeah, good day. Yeah, it was a nice day. <laughs> it was a nice. It was a nice evening. It was a nice morning. Yeah. It was a nice. It was a nice 12.33 in the morning. <laughs> it's like 11 here. Ooh, so. I got first blood. Hmm. I've had sure 25 first bloods, apparently, because I got first blood silver. 
253, 5, 6, 7. I would have to play one more game to master her, but I think I'll do that tomorrow so I can feel a satis satisfaction tomorrow. Alrighty. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Alright, well, I think that's it then, if you're gonna leave. Yeah, I just wanted to check out the player damage. Holy shit, do you see my player damage? Nope. Let me go look at it right now. History. Well, that's a lot of wins. Okay, so we lost two games, one game, and then we lost one, two, three, four, four games in a row. It's w were those the ones where I started playing Freya? Uh, no, the ones oh. that we lost were the ones where you started playing Freya. Ah, okay. And then we we won one with you as Freya before that. Mm -hmm. And then you were Hell. Yeah. You were Hell the entire game. Okay, well, let me look at this, then. Uh, where are you? Can't I, like, look at that? Yeah, I can. Stats. I had top player damage, top Whoa. gold, and top kills. That entire nice. match. Scylla had top player damage? What? That amazes me. She had, like, a butt ton of damage. 31,557, you had 19,412. Oh, it yeah. does minion damage, never mind. Boop, 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 boop. Player damage was, I had- Oh yeah, you had like way more than everyone else. I wrecked. I annihilated. That was a really good match for me. Yeah, it was. I, I feel like it's a good note to leave off for the rest yeah, of the week. It, it was like good. It, it, you'll feel satisfied. It's like, if you think back on Smite, you'll be like, ah. You know what I mean? It's like it's like when you eat something that's really filling. Yeah. In a yeah. good way. And it's like you, you don't even want to continue eating because it was just so good. Like, ah, that was good. I'm done for the rest of the day for eating. That, that was just that was right. Good. That was the right amount of everything. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Well, thank you for playing with me. Okay. Uh, thank it you was, to everyone. It was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. It was good chat. Uh -huh. I hope you enjoy being with your family then. I shall. Well, indeed. Uh, thank you to everyone who watched the stream. Thank you, Sun, for hanging around, if you're still here. Uh, you okay. left. Sun left. All right. Well, See ya. Goodbye to no one! Except maybe Tyler. Bye. Tyler probably is on. Who knows? Maybe. I don't know. Right. I can never tell because we have the same screen. Mm. See you then. All right. See ya. Bye. Thanks for playing.